After doing the video the other day and looking at all the indications from the sensors from the roof, I'm going to give you my best guess of what's actually going on with the roof. I've got some Porsche documentation which talks about what sensors and the general mechanism within the roof, but it doesn't talk about the logic that it actually uses, because obviously that logic is going to be important to try and diagnose what's actually going on when things start to, to go a bit haywire with your roof. So to just go over what the roof sensors actually are in the windscreen, you've got the latch, uh, you've got the reed sensor, which is the proximity sensor, which senses using a magnet when the, the roof is all the way up here, hard against the latch. You've got the latch micro switch, which tells you when that hook is actually engaged with the latch. On the hook itself, you've got two micro switches, one that says when the hook is fully extended and the other when the hook is fully retracted. And also you've got those micro switches at the back on the right and also on the left. On the right, there's just a, sing a single signal called signal. And on the left, you've got two, signal one and signal two. Now I expect that from what I saw from the indications yesterday, signal two is a normal like press button type of micro switch, which gives you solid contact because we saw uh, pretty good contact and for example when it was a closed circuit we got close to zero resistance and when it was open it was infinite obviously but for signal one and signal two as it actually moved obviously we got infinite resistance at the endpoints but in the middle here as I moved it the resistance changed and it wasn't like it was a variable resistor as it went up or down or anything like that it was just changing all the time from you know a, a few ohms to many hundred so I expect that what signal and signal one are is a wiper type of sensor. So for example, if you've got a contact here and the contact there, uh, that wiper is going to move and as it goes off it, uh, at either end, it's going to open the circuit. But as it moves along here, because it's a, a moving contact, then sometimes you can get poor connectivity there and that resistance is going to change. So I'm assuming that is what's going on there. And that is why I also assume that they've got two of them, one on each side, because of the difference in, or that, that variability to the resistance, uh, just to make sure you, you get good contact. So based on that, this is my best guess of what is actually going on when you either open or close the roof. And we'll start with the roof being fully closed, so it's attached to the windscreen here. So we pull on the switch to open the roof. And the first thing it's going to do is say open or extend the hook. So the ReBCM sends a signal to extend the hook and when it extends it gets that signal from the extension micro switch by that contact being open. Once it's fully extended and he goes right now I can start retracting the roof then it sends a signal to the CVM to start motoring the, the roof itself and start moving it down. As it moves rearward, it's obviously going to be getting indications from signal one, signal and signal two. And what I've noticed is that when I, or when I retract the roof, it gets to about here, and this is the point where it starts to retract the hook. So I expect that what's happening is when it's moving, it's waiting for the signal, from, like that indication from signal and signal one, to say, I have moved away from the windscreen to say, now I want to retract the hook and so that'll retract as it starts to move back and it gets the indication from the retraction micro switch to say that has fully retracted and what it wants to do is make sure it gets to this position here with that hook fully retracted and it won't go any further with the hook extended and the reason for that is obviously it's going to strike things on the way back here if it's not fully retracted by that time and I've heard of different things where people have had problems with their roofs where uh, one instance where the roof moved back and it was back here and the hook was still extended. And so it gets to about this position here and the roof just stops. And I can only assume that the reason for that is because as it's coming back, there's some problem here with signal or signal one. So it's not getting this closed circuit on those switches, those wipers, as it comes back here to say, retract the hook. The hook remains extended, it gets to this position here, it gets this signal from signal two to say, hey, uh, I'm in this position now, and he goes, right, I'm not gonna move any further, so I don't bash the hook against the, the compartment at the back. I've also heard of other indications where people have the roof retract, 
and the hook retracts perfectly okay, but it gets to this position here, and it says, right, I'm going to stop. And I would expect that is because even though the hook is retracted, it's not actually getting indication from that hook retraction micro switch to say, right, now I am fully retracted, therefore I can continue. So based on the indications that you've got, it might help you to work out what of these sensors is actually the problem. So if all going well, the hook fully retracts, it gets that indication from the hook retraction micro switch, it gets to this position here, it says yes, all is good, and it continues all the way down to the end there. We get this open circuit on signal or signal one to say it's all the way down the bottom, and also from the hall sensors in the motor to say, right, it's now fully retracted, and I can turn the whole system off. When I'm gonna open the roof, actually pull the, the button in, or pull the switch in the, in the cabin, it starts motoring it up, and what I've noticed is as soon as it gets to about this position here, this is when it starts to extend the, the hook. So I'm assuming that what's happening is when you are open or closing the roof, it's waiting for this signal, this position here from signal two to say, right now I'm going to extend the hook. So immediately it starts, the rear VCM starts to extend that hook and it's gonna wait uh, for the extension micro switch to say it's actually fully extended. And what I think happens is when it gets to about here, it's waiting for that, that extension micro switch to say, yes, it's fully extended before it continues past that point there. And if it gets to that point where it's just before the, the windscreen and it hasn't had that indication that it's extended, it'll just stop the roof completely. And that's so the hook end doesn't bash against the, against the latch. And also it's obviously not going to be able to connect correctly if it's not actually extended. But all being well, if the hook is fully extended by about here somewhere, as it gets to this position, it senses that yes, I can continue and it goes all the way up the front here, then the first thing that's gonna happen is we get the read switch, say, right, it's now contacted. And we also get this open thing here, so it's probably gonna turn the motors off at the back here. And when it's there, then it says, right, now what I need to do is to re retract the hook. So it retracts the hook, it hooks it up into it correctly, it gets the indication from the hook retraction micro switch to say the hook has retracted correctly, but it also has an indication from the latch micro switch to say the hook is actually up inside it as well. So it's a combination of a number of things to say, hey, this thing is fully connected up the front here, that I have the read micro switch saying it's connected, or it's actually contacted up the front here. I've got the latch micro switch saying that the hook is up inside, as well as the retraction micro switch here saying that that hook is fully retracted to tell you all is good, and therefore then it's gonna turn the system off.